Let's start off this video with Happy New Year's. It is 2024. Today is actually January 1st and I'm really excited about this video because I've been wanting to make this channel not just strictly about filmmaking. A lot of you guys might be new to this video because this is a car video and I focus on filmmaking, teaching people how to film make, but I also invest into businesses. I do a lot of other things. I like collecting shoes as you guys are seeing in my background. There's a lot of things I'm in love with and I wanna start sharing that with this channel because it's gonna help a lot of you creatives, but also people out there that just, you know, interested in other things. You know, I don't wanna keep this channel strictly on filmmaking. So the reason why you're here, that's what we're starting with, is to talk about my 2023 Corvette C8, how much I pay for it. There's a lot of videos out there, but in this video, I'm also gonna talk about why I got it, how much was I making at the time, my mindset behind it. It can help a lot of you guys in case you guys are looking into a car this year. This video can help you guys not get the car or get the car. Let's get started with this video. So I have everything written down here. As I mentioned, it's a 2023 Corvette 2LT. The car out the door after tax, title, everything, I ended up walking out with $106,000. It was supposed to be $96,000, but because of the markup when I bought this car a little bit over a year ago, that's just what they were doing at the time of dealerships. They just wanted to take money because they knew people wanted it. I was one of those suckers that got caught up in it, so I spent an extra 10 grand. So $106,000 was what I walked out with. However, I did put $30,000 down on this car. So that dropped it down, but then with adding warranting and everything, I ended up financing out the door $87,000. So that is the final price walking out after down payment, adding warranty and stuff. Now for the interest rate, um, at the moment when I got the car, that was the lowest that they had because you know the interest rates were going up every month, I believe that was, it was during that time. So the best I was able to get was 5.99. Now I financed the car for six years and that's because I wanted a lower car payment. Now, because I financed the car for six years, didn't mean I was gonna pay it off till the six years was met. My goal when I got the car was to pay it off in a year. And nine months in, I had the money and I was gonna pay it off. However, uh, opportunity presented itself and it was either buying a house or a car. And I was like, it's a no brainer, I'm getting this house. So I got my second house. So this year, within the next four months, I plan on paying off the Corvette because I hate debt. It's just, I hate it. it. Again, it doesn't affect me, but I just hate that. So I'm just laying down everything you guys need to know in case you guys are looking into getting this car. So after everything I just mentioned, the payment that I ended up walking out with is $1,277.33. Now I know for a lot of you guys, it's a lot of money. You know, the payment is pretty high, all right? I, I come from nothing, so usually $400 was a lot for me. Now the fact that I'm paying $1,277, with insurance on top of that i think i'm paying like 150 which is actually not bad it's probably because i don't drive it as much i think i put like 4,000 miles a year so let's just say 14 1500 that's what i end up walking out with um with the car with insurance so there you guys have it it's twelve thousand seven seventy seven dollars and 33 cents at a six-year finance walking out the door was eighty seven thousand dollars after adding warranting everything so that's what's to be expected if you guys were to get the corvette within that price but now let's get to the fun part of this video was this car worth it after owning it for a little bit over a year now Hell yes, this car is fun. Every time I get in this car, I can't tell you how good it feels, how fast it is. Obviously there's faster cars, but the fact that this car could be daily driven, it's good on gas. I mean, to me, it's good on gas for a V8. After stepping on it and doing all that, like it's fun as hell. Like I can have no regrets on it. Now, the number one reason why I got this car, of course, is since I saw the 2020 model of this car, I wanted the car. So that was number one was a goal of mine. It was like, man, I need to get that car. One day I'm going to get it. One day I'm going to get it. And I got it in 2022 at the end of the year. Now, the second reason why I got this car is comfort. I hate being comfortable. I thrive when I have a payment, when I have something that I love or whatever the case is, I thrive off that. So for me, getting a car means I'm working harder. And again, this always leads to more success. So a lot of people are gonna tell you again, don't buy this car, don't get this car. But if that's gonna motivate you and that's the reason for it, do it. For example, I got a Jeep Rubicon in 2020 and I wasn't making a lot. I was making $80,000 and uh, my payment was like $825, which actually I still have the Jeep. And 
a lot of people were saying that's stupid, you know, this and that. But I was able to go from making 80, 85,000 that year with that car to 500,000 a year later. And that's because, again, it's just me getting motivated off that. A lot of people can't thrive all that. But if you are that person, do it. Don't listen to nobody. Not everyone has your drive. If you have a drive, you make the choice. You do it because you know you're going to make it happen. Now, number three on the list, as long as financially you're there, you don't see really any hit to your bank account, do it. The main reason why you guys should do it if you guys are just contemplating, a lot of people are going to tell you don't do it. It's stupid. And yes, they're true. However, how many years do we really have on this earth? We could be gone tomorrow. We could be gone next week. It's only right as long as it doesn't affect you financially. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys loved it. If you guys did, subscribe to this channel if you guys are new here. For all you creators out there, if you guys stayed this far, it is possible to get into this. The fact that you're a filmmaker, you can make a lot of money in so many different companies and so many different avenues. You just got to really understand where your specialty lies and you can use filmmaking to start this business this year is going to be amazing because i'm not capping myself to just filmmaking tutorials and how to make this video i'm also going to talk about the business side is always the funnest part for me because you just got to maneuver and just figure things out it's just it's like monopoly so and i've always been a monopoly guy so do you guys want to see that stick around trust me it's going to be way better than just filmmaking so a lot of you creators are going to benefit and a lot of you car enthusiasts are also going to benefit because i have other cars that i'll talk about i'm probably make a video on what i make my business and stuff like that as well i'm gonna be very raw and open so i'll see you guys on the next one peace out